is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. Saitama Stadium looking a terrific picture as always. One of Asia's best purpose-built stadia. The national anthem of Argentina rings out. some performance and now here comes the response high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. Got things on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. There's a counter-attack chance here for Argentina. Ake. De Ligt. Across the field it goes. Lint desperately wants to get on the end of this. Otamendi. Be a throw. Hits one. Oh, that is very close. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Di Maria. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. And he's there to clear it. Chance! Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. 
you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let Messi! And for a moment, time stood still. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. He's got options out wide. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Berghaus. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Ball through needs to be good here. And it's Messi. Out towards the flank. Di Maria receives it in a wide position. De Ligt is there to heave it away. Has a pop! There was plenty of power on that. And it's been taken straight back. But Amendi did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Good idea, just poorly executed. Tries to stroke it through. Ake gets rid without sophistication. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. it long danger averted for now it's gone out of play gonna throw in blint Gets away from his opponent. Blint. Berghaus. Has a hit! This could fall anywhere. And they've been caught out here. Oh, sweet feet. A chance to play it in. Berghaus. That's a good... And the finish! Oh, real danger here. That's the end of that. It all started well enough. Talia Fico. Di Maria. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Lint goes looking. And now the breakaway. <laughs> Deftly done. Wasn't very much in that. 
far away from being a telling final ball. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed it. Chance to shoot! And it's messy. It's a loose ball. And the whistle goes for half time. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. The midway point of the game. A very entertaining half, Peter. Uh, the game's been played at a, a really good intensity. It's been open. It's um, been quite end-to-end, -end and I think the crowd are really immersing themselves into this. And I just hope we get more of the same in the second half. Something to look forward to. Argentina head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. We're underway again. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Argentina making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Gomez. Paredes. Di Maria. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Berghaus. Blint. Di Maria gets it back. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Oh, shot has a hit! On oh, the ball, in for the pieces! And the ball's come out. Messi. Martinez, Martinez gets it out to the wing, he gets past his man, Di Maria, Di Maria, great challenge, time to perfection, he wasn't very far from making something happen by himself, lovely to see. Continue each to cancel the other out. Forward it goes. Paredes. Just brushed off the ball there. And it's messy. Oh, that is asking for trouble. And that's been leave it clear. Burkhouse. He's made sure that that won't get through. Ake. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Gets the better of his man. Di Maria. Gomez, Paredes, Talia Fico, Martinez, Messi, Berghaus, hoists it forward, great strength, too strong for his opponent, Otamendi clips one through, 
Loses his balance and loses the ball. Blint. All driven towards the far post. Goes for goal! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. Klaassen gathers from the goal kick. And here's Luke de Jong. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And he's going long. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. <laughs> Talia Fico. Argentina merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Argentina making another change here. And he's on a charge. Correa going full steam ahead down the left flank. Correa. Argentina showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Oh, the question, that's a foul. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Ake plays it forward. A really good feat. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And it's got through. Gets into some space. Shapes to shoot! No flute, it's what he was there for. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? The Netherlands take what looks to be a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. 
Van Dijk. And that's that. Always in the balance. And in the end, one goal is enough. And narrowly beaten. I don't know if you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim. Argentina could still be playing, Peter, and probably still be trying to score. It might just be causing some edginess for the camp. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.